Hi, I'm Jason, and I'm the Global Director of Artistry with Cargo Cosmetics, and I'm here with Jasmine. And today we're going to do sort of a wintry nude look, because a lot of times when you think about holidays and you think about the winter, out comes the red lips. But not always. You can do a really subtle, uh, contoured, sculpted look with a beautiful nude finish all over the face, and it's actually very, very wintry and very beautiful. I'm going to start with our liquid foundation in the pouch, and I'm going to use the magic brush to apply and you'll stipple it on and then buff in a circular motion. So I'm going to use our Blu-ray concealer, the HD. We apply it to the under eyes and anywhere else there's a little extra redness. And you can use fingers, look up for me, or you can use a little brush if you're more comfortable. But I find the heat from the fingers will blend the product into the skin a little bit easier. Tap the concealer, you're going to get a better coverage. So if you rub, you're just going to wipe the concealer off. So I'm using the Cargo HD translucent powder. So I'll take the lid off and you take the magic brush. This does everything. You'll dip it into the product. This is a little net. And then you'll swirl it around and just tap off any excess. So then you apply it to the face. You don't have to go crazy with this a little bit will go a long way. Now, all of the products that are HD from Cargo, you can really apply to the skin over and over and they don't build up. That's what's so great about it. So you can get this beautiful full coverage without looking like you're wearing a pound of makeup. So I'm going to go into sculpting the cheeks and adding a little bit of dimension because you know, this is not about color whatsoever. So you have to create some shape and some points of interest on the face. Otherwise, it's just blank canvas. So I'm going to start with the uh, HD bronzing powder. And I'm just going to go right along the cheekbones to create a nice, subtle contour. So if you need to find your cheekbones, it's just right, it's right where the, the bump is right here. And then you go right below it. So that's the hollow. And you just blend back and forth. Good. And then you can take what's left over on the brush, bring it up onto the temples, down onto the chin, and that just sort of brings everything together. It doesn't make it so stark on the cheeks, and then you don't want too much contrast. So then we're going to take a very neutral cheek color. Again, it's not about the color, it's about just the texture and the sculpting effect. So this is a beach blush. It has a lot of different hues. It has from a very pale, shimmery, a little bit of bronze and a little bit of neutral in here. And we're gonna go right on the apples and just blend it back. So this should sort of melt into the contour that you just previously did. You wanna smile, that way you can see the apples and you want to bounce it from here because it's not, we're not dealing with color, it's still very neutral. And you just want to blend it in. So I'm using one of our new eyebrow pencils. We use the medium tone. I'm just going to fill in. Jasmine has great brows, so I'm just going to really just enhance what she has. And a strong brow is really, it's in fashion, it's, not, it's on trend, but when you're doing a completely nude face, it's nice to make it the entire focal point of the look. So remember the brows are not always 100% symmetric, but just do your best and take your time and, and do one brow, work on the other, step back, take a look. A little distance will help you see both brows more clearly. And these pencils are very easy to work with. They're they have a super dry texture, so they don't, they don't go on too terribly waxy. So I'm going to use a sneak preview of our new high definition mascara. So this gives nice length and it coats every lash. So I'm taking the champagne color stick, which is our highlight, and just tapping it around the upper part of the cheekbone and back to the eyebrow. And you can take a little bit, look down, and just wash it right over the eyelid. And then a touch more 
right on the bow of the lip. If you can't find a lip color that is nude enough for you, you can always use your concealer as lipstick. And then I think we'll do a touch of lip gloss. So this is one of our new ones. It's called Taos. Uh, also, we have one called Las Vegas Strip that we have right now, and it's also a very, very beautiful nude color to the lips. If you're, if you're doing a gloss, you can just sort of swipe it on and go, but make sure you do concealer or foundation first to get rid of some of the pink in your lips. So that is our uh, wintry nude look uh, with zero color, all beiges. So thank you. Thanks for watching.